Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss AOSTAR search algorithm in artificial intelligence with a simple solid example. AOSTAR algorithm is one of the heuristic search algorithm in artificial intelligence. In AOSTAR algorithm, uh, we used to divide the complex problem into a smaller set of problems with the help of uh, AND or graphs over here. And those smaller set of problems are further solved so that we can solve this particular the complex problem. In uh, Eversar algorithm, we use an equation called as uh, f of n, which is equivalent to g of n plus h of n, where uh, g of n is the actual cost uh, to traverse from the initial state to the current state. For example, if you consider that n is a current state, then the actual cost required to travel from this particular initial state to current state is g of n. And h of n is the heuristic uh, value that is the estimated cost to reach from the current node n to the goal node that is nothing but h of n. And when you add these two things, you will get the cost of that particular node that is denoted by f of n over here. Now to understand this equation and uh, EO star search algorithm, we will take one example here. So the example looks something like this. Uh, in this case, a is the start state and you can say that uh, uh, here we have uh, the complex uh, graph over here we will divide this particular thing into small small groups and finally we will try to achieve this particular goal here now uh, here as i said earlier uh, we have written four on the top of this particular b it indicates the heuristic value that is the probable cost to reach from this particular b to the goal node similarly we have written three here the meaning of this one is from d uh, to reach the goal node the probable uh, cost is equivalent to three in this case and uh, on this particular edge, we have not written anything. That is, the actual cost is not written. By default, it is assumed as 1 in AOSTAR algorithm. So, from A to B, it is 1. From B to E, it is 1 and so on. So, actual cost is 1. And these are the probable distance that is called as the heuristic value over here. Now, we will start with the first step. That is, uh, we will consider the initial node that is A here. From this particular A, we will try to identify the best path. So, uh, if you look at this particular A, there is one path towards this particular B and there is one more path towards this particular C and D. You may ask why we have considered uh, this as one path. You can see this particular thing. This particular uh, the AND indicates that to achieve this particular goal A, we have to perform this particular C as well as D in this case. But when it comes to this side, if you want to perform this particular A, we need to perform uh, only B in this particular case. So that is the reason uh, we have only two paths. This is the one path and this is the another path over here. Now we will try to identify the best path among these two. So we will try to find the value of uh, that is uh, AB and another one is ACD. So AB is calculated something like this. That is uh, F of AB is equal to G of B plus H of B. G of B is the actual cost required to reach this particular B and uh, h of b is equal to probable distance that is 4 so 1 plus 4 which is equal to 5 similarly we will try to calculate this side that is a f a c d which is equal to f of uh, g of c plus h of c and then uh, g of uh, d and h of uh, d here so g of c is equal to 1 plus h of c is equal to 2 here so that is what i have written 1 plus 2 and when it comes to this side, g of d plus h of uh, d here, that is one, 1 again and plus 3, so entire thing is equal to 7. So this side we have uh, 5 here and this side we have 7. Between these two, 5 is the best option, so we will select this path that is uh, a to b in this case. Now we will consider this one as a smaller problem and then we will try to solve this one. Because we have selected this path, now b will become the initial node now. Now, when B is the initial node, we have to select either of these paths. That's either uh, E we have to select or we have to select F in this case. So, we will try to calculate again the heuristic, uh, that's a uh, cost of this particular uh, BE as well as BF here. F of B is equal to G of E plus H of E. G of E is equal to 1 and H of E is equal to 6. That is equal to 7 here. And uh, F of BF is equal to uh, g of uh, f and then h of uh, f here so g of f is again 1 and h of f is equal to 8 if i add 1 plus 8 we will get 9 here so we have got 7 on this particular side 9 on this particular side so between these two 7 is the best option so 
the value of this particular or the heuristic value of this particular b will become 7 here we will replace this particular 4 by 7 now now when you replace the, uh, the value of this particular b we have to propagate it backwards because we have solved this particular sub problem it has to be propagated back to solve this particular the next level problem here so uh, we have to calculate the value of f uh, a b here so f a b is equal to g of b plus h of b g of b is again 1 and uh, h of b is equal to 7 1 plus 7 is equal to 8 i have written here so this particular 5 will be replaced by 8 now now if you look at this particular a again this side we have 7 and this side we have 8 between these two 7 is the smallest one so we will select this particular path now so once you select this particular path uh, we have to uh, we go to this particular c as well as to this particular d here so first we will try to consider this particular c uh, i think uh, you understood why we need to consider both because we have a and here so now i will consider this particular c f of uh, so when we have this particular c again we have to consider three uh, things are there but out of these three we have one part that is cg and another one is what uh, we have only this one that is uh, chi because again it is a and over here so this is the one path or this is second path so we will try to select this path or we will try to select this particular path now now if you want to select this particular path first we need to calculate fcg fcg is equal to g of g plus h of g c of g is equal to 1 h of g is equal to 2 this will become 3 here so that is what i have written here now this side uh, we have uh, to calculate f of c h i so that is equal to uh, this particular thing is 1 and this is equal to 0 so 1 plus 0 plus this is 1 plus 0 so 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 0 so total it is equal to 2 here so this side we got 2 between these two this 2 is the better option and uh, the value of c is already 2 so there is no need to change it here and one more thing you can notice we can see here h and g h and i is uh, the heuristic value is equal to 0 the meaning is we have reached the goal state or you can say that it is already solved in this particular case at the same time we have to consider this particular d also because this is and we have considered c here similarly we have to consider d also now when it comes to d we have only one path that is uh, d to j so we will try to calculate the value of uh, this one f uh, dj which is equal to this one is uh, 1 here plus 0 that will become 1 in this case so that is 1 here now because it is 1 and the value of d is already 3 so we will propagate it back because this 1 is less than 3 so this will become uh, 1 in this case now uh, when it comes to 1 over here and uh, 2 over here because these are the small small problems we have solved it now we need to propagate it back so that we will get the value of a here so to get the value of uh, a uh, we have to calculate uh, uh, with the help of again the same function that is uh, g of c plus h of c plus g of d h of d g of c is equal to 1 h of c is equal to 2 that is 1 plus 2 this side g of uh, d is equal to 1 and h of d is also 1 so 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 so that will become 5 over here so because it is uh, 5 uh, we, we th and it is less than this particular 7 we will replace it and the final value of this particular a is 5 over here and one more thing you can notice because the value of j is equal to 0 we say that this particular path is also solved in this particular case so now in this case you can notice here the nodes h and i are solved the meaning of this particular thing is that the parents of h and i that is c is solved in this case similarly the j is also solved its parent d is also solved over here now the node c and d are solved meaning of these two things is the parent of c and d that is a is also solved in this particular case so what it indicates is uh, we have successfully solved this particular problem because the root node is solved here with the help of evostar search algorithm so in this video i have discussed how can we apply evostar search algorithm to the given problem definition I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.